Well, here's a question for you. What does your heart and the pump on a curing compound sprayer have in common? Well, let's take a look. G'day, my name's Ben. And on this episode of Concrete Compass, we'll be looking at why a curing compound sprayer pump costs so much and why regular water pumps just don't work for applying curing compounds. In the past, I've seen many contractors use a small fire or a transfer pump to apply a curing compound and yeah, it kind of works, but the problem you'll find is they constantly break down, lose pressure and ultimately fail. And this all comes down to one thing, the viscosity or the thickness of a curing compound. You see, your average fire or transfer pump is most likely a centrifugal pump. The motor turns an impeller in the pump which causes the pressure difference between the inlet and the outlet causing the fluid to flow. They're the most common form of pump for very good reason. They're simple and relatively inexpensive. But the problem is they're normally only designed to pump water. Without getting too technical, the viscosity of water is about 0.1 pascal second. Now, don't worry about what that means. You just need to know that a curing compound, or most curing compounds, have a viscosity of 0.22 pascal seconds or higher. That's double that of water. So when a centrifugal pump is constantly pumping high viscosity fluids, it increases the pressure on the seals of the pump and causes them to fail. So what sort of pump do we need for higher viscosity fluids? Well, as it turns out, everyone's already got this type of pump. It's called a heart. And unfortunately, it's not all that practical for applying curing compound. Most curing compound sprayers will run a diaphragm pump which operates in a very similar way to your heart. As the diaphragms move in and out, valves open and close to pass the fluid through. Now, unfortunately, these types of pump are not as cheap as a centrifugal pump, but there's also a good reason why we don't run centrifugal pumps in our chests. The viscosity of blood is even higher than curing compound. But, sorry, I digress. But if you're applying large amounts of curing compound, a good quality pump setup will save you a ton of money in the long run. With the right setup, you'll be able to cover more area in less time using less product. If you've learned something from this video, please consider following or subscribing our social pages. We release a new Concrete Compass video every Wednesday. If you've got any questions on curing compounds, curing compound applicators, or anything else concrete related, get in touch with the team at Allcon today. Uh, and if you've got questions about your heart, hmm, maybe contact your local GP.